Yo, what's going on guys? It's Joel here with as many reviews as possible and today we're going to do a little bit of uh, barbell maintenance. So uh, first off I've got this Rogue Bar. It's a Rogue Bar 1.0 with a black zinc finish. What you want to do is you want to take a plastic wire bristle brush and just kind of go over it, just kind of get rid of uh, the, whatever chalks in the knurling to start with. And I've already done that with this particular barbell. And then after that, you're gonna take some three-in-one oil. Uh, don't worry about using any kind of like Windex or anything. You're probably gonna just end up ruining the finish of the barbell. Just kind of lay down a little bit of that three-in-one oil. Just kind of let it go all the way around. And just start working that three-in-one oil into the knurling. Start turning your barbell. You can use WD-40 as well. I think 3-in-1 oil works a little bit better though as far as cleaning it goes. Especially if you have a, a rusty barbell and I'll kind of go over that a little, in a little bit. You'll notice that chalk kind of just disappears as you go through. Make sure that you use a, a plastic bristle brush versus a, anything any more abrasive like a steel bristle or a copper bristle. Um, you're gonna ruin the finish of the barbell if you use something like that, something too abrasive. Uh, but you can go ahead and use that if you have something like a um, bare steel bar. And that's what you're gonna wanna use actually on a bare steel bar. There is no finish on this. Alright, so just about done working this. Some people ask me if you should um, put oil into the bushings, how you should take care of that. And usually if I have barbells that you know, don't rotate as well as they used to, uh, I'll throw some lithium grease or some silicone lubricant, stuff that you would use for your garage door into, and I'll just spray it right into the, the bushing right there. Um, some people like to go as far as to take off the whole sleeve and just put it on both ends, but I think for most uh, applications, all you're going to need to do is just spray it into that one bushing right there. Alright, so I'm going to let that 3-in-1 oil kind of just sink into this, uh, this rope bar right here. And we're going to go ahead and grab a my Castro bar. So, here's a Castro bar. Alright, so you can kind of tell that this one's rusty and it's got chalk in it and this one really needs some attention. So same deal, I'm going to take my 3-in-1 oil. I'm not going to bother knocking the chalk, chalk out of this because this one's pretty bad. Uh, lay some of that down there. I'm going to grab a copper bristle brush. This one's kind of worn down, but it'll still kind of work. Um, some people like to use steel wool. You need steel wool. And then here I'll just really work this one in. Once again, this is a bare steel bar, so I don't really have to worry about the finish coming off. So you can go pretty much as hard as you want. I would actually use a steel bristle brush if you have one. And as you do this, you'll probably see the rust kind of just disappear. Uh, when I originally got this part, it was really, 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 really bad. And I had to use rust remover to get a, the whole coat of rust that was on it off. Uh, and after I was done, it turned out, turned out perfect. These things will last you a lifetime if you take care of them properly. Three 
one oil. This one's really well loved. But I'll never get rid of this bar ball because I love it. Excellent bar ball. This is even before Rogue even had a 155 psi stencil bar. Seems like 135 psi. And uh, it's still straight, it still works great, whip is good, rotates well. Don't ask for anything more. If you're doing this correctly, you'll actually see like little puddles, little spots of rust just come away from the bar, this form. If you want, you can get the collars as well. Not really, I don't worry too much about the, the sleeves or the sleeve shoulder or the collars as much as this. Your hands are typically not going to be on those parts. I like Russell really kill you. I just would use whatever residue of oil I still have on the brush. Just kind of go over spots that I I see on the collars. If you've never used a bare steel bar before, it's one of the best feelings you can get on a barbell, but you gotta make sure that you maintain that bar so it doesn't get really bad. This one I haven't done in a while, so it's kind of kind of crappy right now. Alright. So real quick, I'm gonna take an old boxer and just go over and work on this barbell. Make sure that you have some barbells for your people to use if you're at an affiliate. Uh, I've got plenty of barbells here, so these ones can kind of just sit around dry. That oil will eventually just soak into the barbell and it'll become not greasy, but for like the next day, it's gonna be greasy. Oily feeling. side now. Now we're going to move on to a hardened chrome bar. Um, so the nice thing about hard chrome bars is that they're the most rust resist resistant barbells, but you end up with a cheaper finish. Uh, most of the Chinese bars end up rusting. Even some of the American bars have had uh, even my rogue weightlifting bars uh, rust with a little bit of moisture, they will definitely rust. So this one's not too bad. Some random spots, kind of a little bit right there. And then I think there's some on this side. Anyways, let's clean it up. All right, so with a hard chrome bar, the finish will probably not come off if you use um, like a copper bristle brush or brass bristle brush, um, but I still recommend not using these uh, just because they will scratch the crap out of your bar. So don't use that. Use the plastic bristle brush. All right, and we're gonna lay down another coat of three-in-one oil. This one's not so bad, so I'm just gonna go over it real quick. This. I would recommend no matter what what bars you have, what finish they are, always just using three in one oil. Cleans, protects, kind of like a one one trick pony. Alright, all you need to do. Obviously if someone like rips their hand and bleeds all over a bar, 
in that case, I'll use disinfectant wipes. And I'll clean it up real quick with a disinfectant wipe, but I'll, I'll always, always, always go back over it and clean it with green one oil. This is a GetRx Stealth Bar, by the way. Excellent barbell. I like wearing gloves. You can kind of see there's like all this like rust residue on my on my gloves. I don't like that on my hands. And that's it for the Get Our X Stealth Bar. Let's see if I can. Now I'm gonna grab my camera, kind of show you. Finished products. So here I've got my Castro bar and my Rogue bar 1.0. Still a little bit greasy, but not bad. Castro bar shows the greatest amount of improvements. Now it looks like normal steel, not a whole lot of rust on it. There's kind of a patina on this bar. Makes it look real cool. All right. And then we've got the stealth bar, which looks brand new now. Easy as that. Now I've got all these bars to do. It's be a fun day. Got some back there. And that's it, guys. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys take care of your barbells, your uh, athletes will thank you for it, and it's sanitary. So take care of those barbells. All right, thanks for watching, guys.